I just saw this film, Big Time Adolescence, and I, I'm, I'm sitting here with the cast and the, and the writer director. Jason, I want to talk to you about like um, the genesis of the concept, and then and then also how you pulled together this this incredible group of actors. Yeah, of course. Uh, well. This is a story that I've, you know, I wanted to tell for a really long time. This was the first script I wrote. It was kind of like growing up, I, I loved this relationship of like idolizing someone and then becoming their best friend and then eventually outgrowing them. Um, and so that was the genesis of the idea and then placing it in this kind of like John Hughesy, risky business -y, you know, high school world where I could like, you know, nod to all those movies I loved. And um, yeah, that was, I kind of married those two things, this relationship and that world. Well, uh, and married with your script is this um, amazing cast. Yeah. Uh, I mean, how did you find this incredible <laughs> cast? Yeah, sure. Uh, I I just got very lucky. You know, I these were a lot of the people were were I had seen um, Griffin and Thomas's work and The Mick and American Vandal, and I'd like when we're talking about like funny real teenagers, like it was just so obvious that I needed these guys. And Emily was someone who I knew and admired her work and had to, you know, convince her to come do this part. And the two, and me and Emily really worked hard to make that role something special and make sure that the women in this film really stood out. Um, and Pete and, you know, Pete was my Zeke from the start, uh, from the first time I saw him do stand-up comedy. I knew that Zeke had to be a stand-up comedian because there's something about that lifestyle that's dangerous and exciting and you can't really fake it. Like you can't really fake that thing that Pete has. Getting him to do this movie and getting him to play it in this way that felt really authentic to himself was very important, and uh, he rounded out the cast with, with other comedians, uh, Jordan Rock, and with uh, Colson Baker, Machine Gun Kelly, who was a friend of his, um, as just kind of sidekicks, and then finally John Cryer, who I I needed because we're talking about the movies that I loved growing up, and having him kind of come full circle in this way was so exciting. I wrote him a letter, begged him to do it. I told him he'd get to punch Pete, and he was in. <laughs> I think what makes our movie so great too is that like. You see a lot of films that come out um, and they always have a great cast, mm. right? You have like an all-star group of um, actors, but they don't necessarily, um, their chemistry isn't that great. Yeah. Um, and it's sometimes it's a great script and it's great everything, but just the chemistry's off. And besides having a great script on this one and, and great actors, there was just so much chemistry between everybody because I think we all kind of hung out. Um, off of set, even when I wasn't working, I was on set hanging out with the rest of these guys. I was always <laughs> there. Was always there. Yeah. <laughs> I just had to be there to bug everybody. <laughs> That's what was special about this set is because, you know, we we're all staying in a hotel together and yeah. everyone's on set. And, like people were on set for scenes they weren't in and everyone was kind of like helping out and, and you know, especially with Pete, Pete was on set for a lot of scenes that he wasn't in, kind of helping to pitch ideas and uh, it really created like this very collaborative family atmosphere. Yeah. You didn't really have anywhere to go also. <laughs> like, if you weren't shooting, it was either set or the isolation of your hotel room. Yeah. There's not like a Syracuse club scene. We, we all got together for dinner at Dinosaur Barbecue. <laughs> and then the very next day, the biggest headline, I'm pretty sure in like every single one of the newspapers was like, Pete Davidson and cast <laughs> like <laughs> sit for dinner at, at Dinosaur Barbecue and we were just like and have legendary meal. Not a lot going on. <laughs> legendary meal. I was like, wow, there's really gotta be not a lot going on. <laughs>